Welcome to the great HR how to video series. In this video, we will talk about how to do the employee salary revision and arrear processing from your great HR account. Salary change or salary increment is the most awaited occasion of all the employees working in both private and public sector organizations. Employees eagerly await to receive some percentage of salary increment every year post the appraisal period. Some factors that trigger a salary change include performance appraisal, standardization of salaries, transfer of an employee from one department to another, amendments to statutory regulations, and promotion of an employee, etc. Great HR will help you manage your entire salary revision process smoothly and accurately. This video will help you learn how to revise the salary for an individual employee, bulk salary revision for employees, and area processing. Let us find out how to revise your employee salary on Great HR. Navigate to the Payroll section and click the Payroll Inputs tab. Now click the option Salary. This page displays the complete salary details of individual employees on Great HR. Click on Update Salary. On this page, click on Add New Revision tab. Based on your organization's salary structure configuration, you can enter the revision percentage or annual CTC in the text box and press the Enter key. If you are in the CTC model, enter the revision percentage. Once done, the revised annual CTC amount will be automatically computed, which will be displayed in the text box here. You can update the new salary amount against each head if you are not on the CTC model. Make sure you enter the effective date and the payout month here. The effective month is when the revised salary should be effective. This will also enable the system to compute the arrears that must be paid. The payout month is the month we make the revised salary payout to the employee, which is generally the current payroll month. You can also enter the employee remarks visible to the employee on their ASS portal. The notes here refer to the confidential remarks visible only to the admin. Once this is updated, click on Save. For example, if the employee salary revision is effective from the 10th of November and the payout month is January while saving the revised salary, you will get a pop-up asking do you want to proceed with arrears effective from the 10th November 2022. You can always click yes if you want to process the salary with arrears. Else click no and proceed without arrears. Now, the system will process the salary without arrears in the current payroll month. Now you can see the revised salary details on this page. However, you can always process the arrears of this employee in the future by going to the arrear tab under payroll input. This would need to be done before the current payroll is locked, or else you would not be able to process the arrears for this case again. The arrears calculator determines the difference between the revised pay and actual pay for the arrears period, and then updates the arrears components. Various concerns, such as taxation and statutory deductions, are automatically handled. You simply need to click on Arrears. Select the arrears effective date from when the arrears have to be paid. Enter the remarks if required and click next. You can see the employee details for whom the arrear payout is pending. You can always use the employee filter on the category tab to search for a group of employees. Also, click here to find an individual employee. Else, manually check the boxes and use the arrows to select the employees. Click Next. Now you can see the arrears are getting processed. To complete the process select the employees and click on the Finish button. The arrears page displays the records of newly processed arrears. Click the download icon to give the arrear batch as a report. After processing arrears, if you have modified the employee salary before processing the payroll, ensure you return to the page, select the batch, and click on the process button. I hope you have understood the process of revising individual employee salary and processing the payout. Now let us find out how to complete a similar task for multiple employees on Great HR. 
To revise salary for multiple employees, you can always import data from Excel from search action. Since you are going to revise multiple employees, select the import type as add a revise salary from the import type drop-down. Once you choose the right importer type, you get a sample on the template file by clicking here. Open the downloaded file and read the instruction highlighted here. Based on your organization's salary structure configuration, you might find some additional columns also in the sample format. Revoke the sample data and update the spreadsheet with your employee's revised salary details. Ensure the employee number is always in the text format. A common issue you may face is when the employee number is in the numeric format. To convert the numbers into text format, select the column, click on Data, Text to Columns, click Next, choose again Next, click Text, Finish. Enter the effective date and enter the notes. Notes refer to the confidential remarks visible to the admin. You can also enter the employee remarks visible to the employee on their ASS portal. Enter the revised annual CTC if you want the revision to be calculated along with arrears. Then enter 1 here or else 0 and save the file. Now it is time for us to upload the file to the system. To do that, click here on upload file and map the file from your system. You can see that the file has been successfully uploaded. Click next. If your Excel file column titles differ from the suggested title, you need to map your columns to the database fields manually. The columns are automatically mapped to the related field if you use the recommended formats. Click next. Now the Excel import validation will happen. Click next to complete the result. On this page, you will get a success message. I hope this video taught you how your employee's salary revision and arrears can be processed easily and accurately. With that, we come to an end. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel to get updates about our upcoming videos.